A buttery pecan studded shortbread based topped with a creamy spiced pumpkin pie topping. Ready for a new take on the traditional pumpkin pie? Try these tasty pumpkin pie squares. If you want a really, really delicious made from scratch homemade pumpkin pie made with a real pumpkin, click up here for our pumpkin pie recipe. But if you'd rather have something quick and easy with that same pumpkin spice flavor profile, you just gotta make these pumpkin pie squares. Here's how to do it. Two easy prep steps. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The rack is in the middle position. You're gonna need a nine by 13 inch baking pan. No need to spray or line the pan. Next, the base for the squares. We're taking half a cup of pecan pieces. Let's finely chop them. Then we're gonna grab a food processor fitted with blade attachment. We're adding three quarters of a cup of unbleached all-purpose flour, half a cup rolled oats, quarter cup packed brown sugar, a half a teaspoon kosher salt, plus half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger. The lid goes on, we're gonna run the machine to roughly chop those oats. Then we're gonna add one stick of butter, that's half a cup or eight tablespoons, plus those finely chopped pecans. Now run the machine until you have pea-sized coarse meal. Next, spill that base mixture into the pan, Tamp it down into an even layer. Make sure you get to those corners. Then we're gonna transfer the pan to the fridge for a 15 minute chill. Then once the base is chilled, transfer it to the oven. We're gonna bake for 15 minutes. It's gonna bake and set. Don't let it get too brown though. We're looking for a light golden color all the way along the edge. Next, we're making a mighty tasty pumpkin flavored filling. We're gonna put everything into one large bowl. Let's start with one 14 ounce can of pureed pumpkin, a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, half a cup of dark brown sugar, a third of a cup of granulated sugar, then add two eggs plus one additional egg yolk. Next, we're gonna add the spices into the bowl, but one pro tip, grind them fresh. Take an old coffee grinder or a spice mill, add your spices in, zip them up. The fragrance that comes off of this recipe using freshly ground spices, it is this recipe's game changer. Let's add those freshly ground spices, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of cardamom, plus half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Then we're gonna grab a microplane. We're gonna grate up some lemon zest. How about some fresh ginger? They go into the bowl. It's one teaspoon of lemon zest and two teaspoons of fresh ginger. Next, hand mixer. Blend the ingredients for the filling together. Make sure everything is well combined. Next, we add the filling to the pan. It'll even out on its own across the surface. We're gonna transfer the pan back to the oven for an additional 40 minute bake time. Taking it out of the oven, we're gonna test the center of the square with a knife. If the knife comes out clean, these squares are done. Bring the pan out of the oven, let the squares cool completely. Couple options, you can cover the pan, put it into the fridge until you take your pumpkin pie squares to a friend's house for them to enjoy. Or if you want to enjoy them right away, I like to serve them still a little bit warm. Almost ready to dig in, grab a sharp knife. We're gonna do two cuts lengthwise, then five cuts widthwise, lifting it out of the pan, beauty. To serve, let's add a dollop of fresh whipped cream. Remember those freshly grated spices? Let's add a sprinkle of your favorite. This is truly heavenly. One more sec, let me show you what happens when you dig in. You can see that spiced, buttery, nutty oat base, and then that fabulous pumpkin pie spiced layer. Now, as good as this looks, it tastes even better. Only way you'll find out is when you make it. Full recipe is up at weekendatthecottage.com. When you're visiting our website, please subscribe to it. Look for this video on our dedicated YouTube channel. You can subscribe to it as well. And then when a dessert is this fabulous, take a picture of it and post it using hashtag weekendatthecottage on your favorite socials like Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. The best.
pumpkin pie squares. Oh, I'm so digging in. Look at that beauty. Mm. I may have two <laughs> or three, <laughs> five. Mm.